When I first saw the trailers for Hell Divers 2, I thought to myself, nah, I'm not gonna get this game. I mean, how fun can it be to shoot giant bugs and insects? It looks like Starship Troopers. I've seen the movies, I know what's up. And I even remember that there was a Starship Troopers game released a year ago in 2023. So I thought now it's just a knockoff. Fast forward, the game is released and I start seeing a bunch of YouTube videos talking about how good this game is, what a surprise, etc, etc. And even at that point, I was still like, you know what, I'm gonna do my own thing, I'm gonna keep playing Suicide Squad. Yeah, I know, I know. And then, even a week later, I keep seeing new videos about how good this game is. So finally, 10 days later from the release, I said, okay, you know what, I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna see what it is. And I went all in, I bought the Deluxe or the Super Citizen version, and I gotta tell you, I was wrong, I was wrong. I, I didn't know that it could be fun. And, and it's very hard for me to pinpoint exactly what makes this game fun. And I think it's just a combination of how they manage to put different ingredients together to make this game. For example, shooting is really well done. It's very realistic. I do kind of prefer the shooting experience in a game like Remnant 2. I prefer it a little bit more, but this one is very close. It feels really well. Then there are the enemies. You have two types of enemies. I didn't know that because the trailers, they only show the bugs, the insects, all that stuff. But you also have this group of AIs, robots, which I think they're pretty scary. I mean, they, they made them with the red eyes and the enemies, they just swarm at you. They're very unpredictable. Unlike other games that there are some ways where you can tell, okay, enemies are going to spawn here or there. In here is very unpredictable. You're shooting enemies, you're shooting bugs. Suddenly there's one coming from behind you and this game kind of really keeps you on your toes. Another thing that I thought when I saw the trailers was that this would be a pretty chill game. You know, one of those where you can sit back you turn off your brain and it's just uh, one of those shoot them up games. Well, I was wrong on that front as well. I mean, this game, you have to pay attention. You gotta strategize even a little bit with your loadouts. They have these things called stratagems where you call out additional support, whether it could be a weapon or a strike on the enemies, etc., etc. which by the way, it's a pretty genius way to do it. You input a code using the arrow keys. I don't remember seeing these in any other game. So this is actually really pretty genius part with this game. So all of these, I think just a combination of this and that, all the way that they put it together, I think the execution is kind of what made this game fun. Now, if I'm actually enjoying this game, why am I not? recommending the game from the title for two things. To be fair, it's not that I don't recommend the game. What I'm saying is that there is no need for anyone to go rushing to buy this game now because they feel like they're missing out on something. The main main reason is because this game is kind of right now full of technical problems. On Steam, it shows that I played this game for a little over 20 hours right now. Maybe 60-70% of that time is actually me playing. All the other time is me waiting for the game to launch. I get the unable to create lobby error. Sometimes I get this error, which is just a string of numbers. I don't know what, uh, what it means. I also get two different type of server at capacity messages. So a ton of problems and I have to leave the game, just kind of wait. It takes 10 to 15 minutes, maybe lucky five minutes to log in. 
And it's not just the initial launch that I encounter problems. I also encounter problems in matchmaking. I have so far not been able to join one single game, not a single game. Every time I play, I have tried, whether it's quick play or manually choosing a mission that already has people in it, or me trying to join a friend. None of those three things have worked for me. I have never been able to yet join someone else's game. The only times that I play in a group is because I have my settings in public so other people are able to join me. And that's how I've been playing, either solo or with people joining my squad. And there are more issues. I can continue, I can go on. I had the game just completely kick me out in the middle of a mission. I also had issues where the game is just stuck on a loading screen and it goes on and goes on. Like I even, even strange problems. Like for example, I'm trying to claim an item and it's stuck on claiming. Uh, then it never claims that item. Uh, you know, it just, it's just so many problems. Like it really takes away the joy of the game. Because you know what's worse than a bad game? It's a good game that you cannot play. I feel like that's kind of, sometimes it could be a little bit worse. And I don't know, like I'm not a IT person. I don't know how the servers, all these things work. But all I know is that Sony is behind this game. The maker of the PlayStation, the console that outsells Microsoft Xbox almost two to one. And yet, I don't understand how they could be so unprepared, not have a backup and not be able to solve these within a week or so. Because just before this game, I remember another game that exploded was Pyrowall. And that game had a much, much bigger user base than Helldivers. And yet I don't remember them having such a big issue. I remember they had some server issues, but it was solved within a week or so. So I bought this game 10 days after the release on the 10th. I'm making this video more than a week later on the 18th. And the problems are still there. The latest update, I believe it was on the 16th on the or the 15th. Still the same, still unable to join any games. The second issue is, we have to be honest, this game is not for everyone. If you are a casual gamer, you might find this a little bit too intense. And not to mention, this game is a co-op game that it is definitely much more fun with friends or in matchmaking. And I am mostly a solo player. So I find myself playing this game, being reminded that I don't have friends and I should probably do something and start getting some. At the beginning, when you're starting out, when you're kind of learning, getting familiar with the game, that's fine. It's still pretty fun. But once you become quite familiar with the game, it becomes quite boring and sad pretty quick. That's how I felt. This is definitely a game that you gotta at least play it with random people. It is a fun game. I really enjoy it. I think people who enjoy shooting games, they will probably enjoy this game. But as of right now, it is really busted. Like the server issues, connection issues. It's just, I think it's a bit too much to be able to enjoy this game. There is no need rushing to go buy this game now. I would say just wait maybe another two weeks and I see if they actually manage to solve this from their Discord messages and things like that. It does sound like they're kind of struggling to try to get this together. And at the same time, I see the price of the game maybe drops. And the other thing is, let's see if this game has legs because it's still a new game. We're still within the two weeks. So everybody does the euphoria, you know, and the YouTubers piling on with their videos, uh, how good this is, etc., etc., blah, blah, blah. Let's see if it's still like that after another two weeks. Now, personally, I do think that this game will stick around. I think it's fun enough that there is going to be some lag. But, you know, all I'm saying, no need to rush. That's my take. But again, obviously, you guys can do, you know, 
what you want, obviously. All right. Anyway, so I hope this was helpful. Enjoy the game if you have it. Hopefully, maybe I get to play this game with some of you. I love you all. I'll see you all in the next video.